Hey guys, welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what we're going to be talking about is Metasploitable 2 and some exploits. So if you see on my screen, we have, we're going to do some network scanning. We're going to exploit port 21 with Hydra, get the credentials. And we're going to exploit the VS FTPD 2.3.4. I've done this before, but I'm going to make a few different uh, lessons on different uh, compromises or exploits. We're going to exploit SSH and Telnet. So I want to do like these five little uh, lessons today. So without further ado, let's get into it. So we have our Metasploitable machine right here. And let's log into it really quick. And if you have Metasploitable 2, it, the login is MSF admin, MSF admin. So once we have that, we can do a quick if config. Whoops. And then my IP address is 172.16.1.8. So I want to minimize that, and I'm just going to go ahead and put that up here. Okay, and I'm actually going to put this on my other screen, just so I have it, and uh, we have it all good to go. All right, so let's go ahead and open up my Kali box. I'm going to put this in full screen. So obviously I'm known as InfoSec Pat, that's why I have my fillet like that. So first things first, you have to have Metasploitable 2 VM. You can download, you can download that from uh, SourceForge. And I think I have a video on my channel about Metasploitable 2 and how to download it and install it and all that good stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, open up a new, a new terminal window. Okay. Uh, once my terminal window opens. Okay, let's make this a little larger. And I'm gonna use sudo su to get into root. Okay, so who am I? I am root now. So the first things first, like we showed in my little uh, steps here, we're gonna go ahead and do a network scan. Okay, that's the first thing we're gonna do because you know, we have to know what services are open, what ports are open, what ever, all that good stuff. We'll use nmap for that. All right, so let's do nmap. And we'll do nmap 172.16.1.8, which is our IP address, and with a, ca uh, with a dash S capital V for the version number, the version information. We have to get that information in order to know what information, what version number is on our services. All right, so we'll let that cook for a minute. And while that's doing its thing, first things first, like I said, we're going to exploit port 21 with Hydra, okay? So we'll give this a minute. I just want to put this over here a little bit. I have so many screens, and it's, it's crazy. All right, so we are going, let's make this a little larger. Let's click in here. All right, so the first things first, we know port 21 is open. So what we're going to do really, really quick is run a Hydra scan. And before we do that, I want to show you on my desktop. On my desktop, we can just load up my desktop here. Where is my desktop? So small. And I have a pass.txt and a user.txt here. So with this information, this is the user and password list that I'm going to use to run with Hydra, okay? And obviously the rockyou.txt, everyone knows that. That's the password list that comes with Kali Linux and Parrot OS. And, you know, there's sec list out there. There's a whole bunch of them. But in, you know, simplicity's sake, for this video, I made it very short so we don't have to go through a whole bunch of uh, jazzy jazz to find the username and password. So let's do Hydra. So let me so let me see if you can see the screen. Let me make sure because I did a new setup. Oh yeah, cool. You can see it. So at the bottom there, it says Hydra dash capital dash capital L user, which is the user list, space dash capital P, which is the password list, and pass.txt is the list of passwords that we're going to utilize. And we're going to run it against the IP address of your uh, system 
and then the service that we want to do is FTP. All right, so we'll run that. Okay, I'm not sure what, oh, if you guys see what I did, I'm a ditz. I'm running this in the current directory, which if I do PWG, I'm in home infosec pack. That is not the right folder because that resides on desktop. Okay, now we ls, now we can see these user, uh, these files here. That is my bad, let's run that again. And now we have some success. All right, so task one, let's go ahead and bring task one up here. Task one here, we scan this, this is done. Okay, Hydra, this is done. And the next one, so we were able to get some username and passwords. Sorry about that. Let me put my phone on silent so I don't get distracted. All right, so for testing sake, let's check this out. Let's see if we can FTP. Whoops. Whoops. Let me come out back over here. FTP. All right, so we're going to do it to the IP address of our Metis Level 2 machine. And then name. We'll use user and then user as a password. And boom, now we are in. Okay, so we're in that system. Okay, so we're able to successfully get the username and password, test that, and we were able to get into it. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's clear that. Let's go to a clean slate. So the next, ta the next task is to exploit VS FTPD 2.3.4. Okay, so let's do this really quick. We're going to run search exploit. And search exploit is like Metasploit, uh, search, uh, search DB, the uh, exploit DB database online by Google Dorks and all that from, I think, from Offsec. And we can run this and see if there's anything out there that's on that database. As you see here, we have a backdoor command execution. Okay? So with that, we can go ahead and start up Metasploit. Okay, we can start up Metasploit and utilize this exploit to run it. Okay, so let's go ahead and MSF console. And we'll give this a moment to cook. And then we'll go ahead and search. And it's the uh, VS FTPD 2.3.4. Okay, we can see it here. This is the exploit. So we can copy this section and we can use, whoop, not user, use paste section. And now we are, I don't want that thing to come up. I am using VirtualBox. So now we can do show options. Okay. So we have our host, the R port, which is port 21 for FTP. So we have to set some parameters. So set our host, and it's going to be 172.16.1.8, okay? So let me verify, yep, that is correct, okay? And next thing, we can just do exploit. And now we're exploiting the FTP service since it's vulnerable to this exploit, okay? Now we see command shell session one open. We can see that we were able to get, now if we do an if config, boom, if we run shell, we're gonna to try to get a shell on that box. And once the shell is able to, now we're gonna do ls, now we're on that machine. PWD, we're on the root of that system. Host name, okay, we're metasploitable, sysinfo. All right, don't worry about that, we have to, I'm not doing all that good stuff, but you can see we're able to compromise that with that meta, with that exploit. All right, so that is it for this. Oh my God. All right, so let's clear this. All right, so the next thing is what we're gonna do is, I'm just reading my notes here, exploit port 22. Since 22 is open and what 22 is SSH, okay? So we'll do that really quick. So we'll do search. <coughs> and we're gonna do SSH underscore login. And we see here we have an auxiliary scanner SSH SSH login. 
right? We are going to use this for this uh, exercise. So we can copy that, use, paste. Okay, so let's clear this. Show options. Now we have a whole bunch of jazz, right? So first things first, we're going to have to set some parameters on here to exploit this SSH. So let's go back to here. Uh, not that. I don't want to get the next here. We can open up a new session. Let me just make it bigger. I want to do CD to desktop, PWD. So we have to use this. I want to copy this because we have to set the path for the user uh, user list and password list. All right. So let's go back to uh, our Metasploit, wherever that is. Okay, so the first things first, let's set our host. First, we have to set the R host, right? And the R host is 172.16.1.8. Okay, and the next thing we have to do is set the user, as you see here, user path, wherever the user path is, it's uh, user, user file, sorry. So let's set user file, okay? The user file is going to be Paste it here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Sorry guys. Let's go ahead and go copy this again. And let's try to paste that again. Oh my god. What the heck is going on? Alright, no worries at all. Let's just do this. Oh my god. Things are locking up now. All right, let's try this one more time. I don't know why this. All right, let's just do home info set pat desktop. And then it's going to be this the user.txt. Okay. Sorry about this little guy. Hopefully it goes away in a second. Cool. All right, so the next thing we have to do is set the password. Okay, so let's do pass and then let's go ahead and use pass file all right so the pass file is here oh, the user file is here the pass file is right here we just have the this file containing the passwords so this is pretty much and this is the file containing the usernames so we set those two parameters so the one last thing we have to do is the on a stop on success this stop guessing when the credential works for a host so if the the credentials actually get found. If, the, if we find the credentials in the file, it doesn't have to keep trying to search for anything. It stops right there. So it's for convenience sake. All right, so we're going to do that. Set stop underscore on underscore success. Oh, oh my God. And this is going to be true. Okay. And that's pretty much the last thing. That let's try to exploit that, and that is going to cook for a second. And while that cooks for a second, I'm just going to put. I'm going to go ahead and put this one done. Now we're going to go ahead and do exploit the uh, SSH. That's what we're doing now. And the next one, we're going to go ahead and ca capture some credentials with Telnet and Wireshark and all that good stuff. All right, so as you see here, we have some credentials that success, SSH, we have MSF admin, we have MSF admin, MSF admin, we have, so technically, if we try to go like this now, let's just test it out, and we go SSH, let's do sudo su really quick, so I don't, I don't have to mess with all that, so SSH, MSF admin at our IP address and MSF admin. Boom, we are in. Okay, we're in that machine now. See, hostname, ls, and we're we're good. Okay, so let's minimize that now. So that that task is done. Okay, let's exit. Okay, let's clear this. All right, the last thing we're gonna do is exploit or find the credentials for Telnet. 
So technically, we can just do telnet to it, and we can just say MSF admin. Uh, I guess uh, backspace don't work. I can't. Let's just use user, user. Now we're in that as user, right? We're in. We, we just telnet it to it, but. In hindsight, like this is all in clear text. So we're gonna do something cool really quick and this is gonna uh, conclude the video. So let's go ahead and open up Wireshark, which is one of my favorite packet analyzers. All right, we have to authenticate. So we have ETH0 here. ETH0 is my interface that I'm utilizing on my Kali box for all the traffic that's traversing between my Kali box and Metasploitable 2. Okay, so let's go ahead and double click this. There's no traffic at the moment because there's no traffic generated, but we're gonna generate some right now. So let's go back here, let's do telnet, okay? And now we'll do msf admin, msf admin. Cool, we're in here, pwd, we're in this machine. Now we can come back here to our Wireshark, stop this, we see all this traffic that's there, right? which is cool. So now let's do telnet. Now this is all the telnet traffic. So say if I'm you know, doing a, an assessment or anything, a pen test, and if I'm in your environment, if I see like network switches, routers, any kind of data that's going over telnet, because some people try, uh, forget to turn telnet off on their VTY lines, on their Cisco routers or whatever, we can go in here and if we know that switch or IP address for that router, we can listen to see if people put in the username and passwords. So we can go ahead and right click on here and then uh, follow TCP stream. And I don't know if you can see this, but what I'm gonna do, you can see the, the username and password, but I'm not sure if you can see it or not. So I wanna do a snipping tool and I'll snip it, okay. And then I'll take this, make this larger. I don't know if I can make this bigger in here, but I'll, whatever, I'll save it really quick. And test, okay. Let's just go ahead and X out of here. And let's go ahead and open up, whoops. I'm gonna go ahead and open that up really quick. Test it here. And we can zoom it in here. All right, so now we can just pull this over. And we can see here, Metasploitable 2, we were able to get the login information and the password right there. You see that? So that's pretty much it. So that concludes, let's bring this over, we're done. So we, you know, to recap what the video was about, it's about some lessons on Metasploitable 2, some exploits. We exploited port 21, when Hydra found the username and passwords, we were able to backdoor with the VSFTPD, uh, SSH, exploit SSH, and Telnet. That's why it's not good to ever have Telnet enabled. All right, so hopefully you guys find this video informative. If you guys like it, please subscribe, share, you know, share with your friends and family. Until next time, thanks again. You know the deal. Thanks, bro.